Hello, I'm David Burns at Long Lane Honeybee Farms, and today I want to show you how to wrap up a hive for winter. A lot of people ask us, should you wrap your hive up with roofing paper? And I caution them about that because you can make too much humidity in the hive. This is an important piece of hive equipment that you want to use if you're going to wrap your hive. It's a spacer and it's an upper ventilation and an upper entrance so the bees can come in and out. This is very important. You got to do this if you're going to wrap your hive. Otherwise, you'll have too much condensation inside the hive. And I've got, um, here's the roofing paper. And when you have a hive that's two deep hive bodies like this one is, and then two supers, it's the perfect size. It's about 36 inches tall, three feet on the black paper. And I've cut it to about 85 inches. Uh, I think that's right. About, about 80, 85 inches. So it'll go all the way around and, and lap over. And then I'm gonna use a staple gun that you squeeze and it just goes in far enough into the wood to lock in the black tar paper. So let me take you through the process. This hive is uh, pretty busy today. It's November the 9th. It's about 60, 65 degrees in November. So it's a good time to wrap up a hive. As you can see on the entrance, I've put my entrance reducer to keep the mice out. And so now I'm gonna take the top off, put my spacer on, and then put my candy board on. Let me show you how that works. There are some bees at the top, but most of the bees are lower down. So this is my upper entrance and ventilation right here. Here's the candy board. So I'll place the candy board here. And now I'm ready to wrap the, the hive. When you wrap the hive, it's better to start where you don't have to play too long in the front when a hive is busy like this. So I'm going to kind of start off to the back, off to the side, wrap it around and it will disturb the bees when I try to wrap the wrap across the front. but. Um, and then um, you'll, you'll see how it goes.
now they found their entrance pretty easy, didn't they? We'll come back and cut a hole in the top in just a minute. So there's our upper entrance, and now I'm just going to fold some of this extra over a little bit. It's not important that you have extra, but it just works out that way. And if you've got a smaller hive configuration, you'll have to cut more off. There you go.